Chapter 2 summary. Now, in this brief chapter, a child named Benjamin, ah, uh, Benjamin Komuti, reflects on his status in his family and in his house. He compares himself to a lamb whose mother does not want it and will not feed it, requiring the lamb's owners to feed it by hand. And there are other children in the house. David Toli, not the best Afrikaans slang there, I must say. You know, if, if you know, you know. Sorry, absolutely horrible joke. Terrible. Then we've got Kitty, Emmy. And he says that they are all treated well. And it's unclear at this point what his relationship to the people he calls his parents actually is. So uh, we don't really know what's, what's going on, what's clapping. Benjamin reveals that he and his family live in the Long Kloof, also known as the Lange Kloof in the story in Afrikaans. It is an Engels Upsomung, so he is the Lange Kloof. And this is a stretch of land between the mountains. So this 10 here, it means... It's coming from chapter 10. And his mother says they live on the better side of the mountains. The only trouble was that the stupid Lachans, ay, 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 the Lachans causing problems here, also lived on that side, thinks, uh, thinks Benjamin. But we'll learn more about the Lachans later on.